Welcome to Narayasha Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last video, I have given an introduction to dictionary in Python. Now, in this video, so we are going to discuss about uh, dictionary is mutable or immutable. Dictionary is allowed to store mutable objects or immutable objects. See here, to check, first we are checking that a dictionary is allowing to modify or not. We know that mutable object means what? We can modify after creation. Immutable means what? We cannot modify after creation. Suppose, here we are creating one dictionary first. We are creating, suppose dictionary d equal to with some values a 20 b 30 c like this 30 c some values we are storing here now once the dictionary is ready once the dictionary is ready can we can we add elements or not can we remove elements or not here so whenever we are calling d dot it will show the list of functions available in the dictionary object Suppose for example, pop item function is there, pop item, so it will remove that last item from the dictionary. So whenever we are, we are checking, so only 10 and 20 are present. So I just want to remove the particular one because anyway the keys are unique, we cannot duplicate the keys. So keys are unique, so whenever we are calling d dot pop function is there. If you specify the key, it will remove the corresponding value. So here it is just print D. The only 20 is there. So you can remove the elements from the dictionary. So once it has been created. So can we add, see there is a function called update function, D dot update. You should pass as a dictionary only, as a dictionary. Here it is we are passing, we are passing the elements for example for 50 50 and we are passing like a x x we are passing so whenever we are printing that d already 20 is there b and 50 x we added so we can store nothing but we can add the elements and we can remove the elements once it has been created so that's the reason so we can say that clearly dictionary is mutable dictionary is mutable because it is providing functionality to add and remove elements to add and remove elements after creation to add and remove elements after creation so dictionary is an is a mutable object now what type of elements we can store into dictionary is actually Dictionary elements means what? It is a key value pair, key value pair. So keys are mutable or immutable, values are mutable or immutable or both are allowed, all the things we have to check. See how to check here, in the dictionary, we are storing that key is an immutable, see 10 is an immutable and element is also immutable, both are immutable. See for example, dictionary key I am taking, key I am taking tuple, we know that tuple is immutable and here it is a value is also tuple only, it is like a immutable only, immutable object that is. So value is a mutable or not we are checking, value is a mutable or not, key is a immutable, value I am taking, I am taking list is allowing, next a dictionary. Here it is a key is a mutable, nothing but list value is an immutable. We are taking like this, not allowed. So, according to this, according to this, key is a immutable allowed. Key is a mutable is not allowed. List cannot be a key. Value can be immutable and mutable also tuple is allowing list is also allowing so we can say that 
we can say that dictionary keys keys must be immutable for hashing purpose for hashing purpose and here it is a values values either mutable or immutable both are allowed mutable objects allowed immutable objects also allowed this is dictionary dictionary is mutable so as of now what we have discussed so everything list is a mutable list list is mutable list elements elements can be both i think but either mutable or immutable that is next a tuple is immutable immutable and here it is as a tuple elements tuple elements either mutable or immutable next one is a set is mutable but set elements must be immutable immutable dictionary is mutable dictionary keys must be immutable dictionary values either mutable either mutable or immutable so these are the four different collection types we have discussed as of now the mutability and immutability checking means what these are the questions they will ask mostly in the interview okay so instead of by hearting all these things just by writing some programs you can recognize easily if something is allowing for modifications means it's mutable it's not allowing for modifications means immutable like we can say that constant object okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narish id channel thank you